Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Uh, this is the first tutorial for the SQL uh, from W3 School. As you know, SQL stands for Standard Structured Query Language. SQL is a standard language for storing, manipulating, and retrieving data in database. So W3 School, you can learn SQL interactive way. You don't need any software like SQL Server Management Studio, Oracle, or any other thing. You don't need to install anything. You can learn it online from anywhere, computer, mobile phone, or any device. You can learn um, that SQL. SQL is very important for many different purposes, like software developer needed, software tester needed, um, web developer needed, those who are DBA, um, like a SQL developer, many different purposes SQL is needed. So W3 school has the whole structured, whole index uh, from start to end point, how to learn. I'll just show you how to implement that code, modify that code, run it yourself, which query, do what. I'll take at that point. So in order to use that, you need to open any browser. Then you need to navigate w3school.com. Then you need to SQL tutorial. So if you go to the first in a syntax, then scroll down, then try it yourself. So this is the uh, your query writing and running window. So restore database, you can click over here. If you see, then hit OK. Here is the database we have. Uh, I mean, um, customer, uh, customer table categories and all other things, table name. So uh, first question we have, I'll show you simple different thing. Let's say uh, you want to single line comment, then you need to dash dash then write something let's say sql practice this is the single line comment if you have a multiple writing let's say sql practice like this one again this row i'm just same thing writing a couple of time to see the block comment so in that way forward slash asterisk and up to where you want to make a comment up to this so again asterisk then forward slash this will not affect anything for running this query so you understand the single line comment and multi-line comment then let's see what is our first question our first question is how to retrieve all data from a table customer table and all other table so if you want to retrieve all that data from a table then it is the command select star from customers it will retrieve whole data here we see 91 records so run this we have written this query run this query you see 91 record retrieves that means here you can practice your query and it is retrieving exactly perfect now our second question is let's say how to retrieve distinct value from a table. What is distinct value? Basically distinct value, what is written? If you see the country over here, Germany, Mexico, UK, Sweden, you, we have 91 country is written over here, but there are Germany, uh, Mexico, and all other duplicated. There is a multiple value, but I want to know how many country we have in a customer table. See, in that way, there is a command called distinct then country from customers it will return the distinct country that means how many country we have in here so run sql you see 21 mexico it is once germany one everything one by one so that means it's a very simple command you can utilize in sql query then what is the next question how to filter data when retrieving data from a table. So filtering data, you need to use where condition. Let's say we want to retrieve, select star from customer. Then for filtering, we need to use where condition, where country equal to, let's say we want to retrieve Mexico data, Mexico. Then run SQL query, you see how many data we have. It's a retrieving 
five member records. So it is also you can filter data um, any way, any column or based on any value. So similar thing next to the multiple filter. Multiple filter you can use another condition like let's say and let's say postal code. Postal code equal to let's say we want to see 050 050 and 022 there is a multiple filter condition and uh, there is one is filter condition country another one is and run sql query no result so and let me take a look why it is not returning So postal code, postal code equal to, oh, basically here is a mistake. We can use another condition, postal code. It is 05022, run SQL query, you see only one. In this way, you can use multiple filter condition. And what is next? The next is the uh, sorting data sorting data you can use the order by let's say this is our table run sql query here is the mexico the, you see this country is not order by like first is germany then mexico uk something like that then we can sort this way order by country let's say asc ascending order that's been a to z so run this sql query you see argentina and something else this is the ascending order if you want to see any data ascending way you can use the order by by sorting also if needed you can do the desc that means descending order so run sql query it is you see it is descending order way in this way w3 school all the command in side by side let's say order by here is a example here is the code everything you can just copy paste from copy from here you can put it here and you can run it by yourself this is the way you can learn sql from w3 school and practice from anywhere your computer mobile phone ipad any device you can do that you don't need any software this is a very handy and useful if you think this video tutorial this is useful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video